Hi and welcome to the module quiz for uh, module 13. We're talking about theoretical probability and we started here with uh, you choose a marble at random from a bag containing 12 red, 12 blue, 15 green, 9 yellow, and 12 black marbles. The marble's red. So what's the probability that we'll choose a red marble? First we have to know what is the total of all of these numbers. So uh, let me take this here and let's see we got 12 plus 12 and there's 15 and 9 and 12 okay so that's uh, well that's 14 uh, 16 18 20 so that's 20 uh, uh, 2 3 4 5 6 so it looks like our total is 60. Okay, so that's important to know. And I will make this a little bit bigger. So 60 uh, here. So the total is 60, and we're looking for Munro's red. So it's 12 out of 60. That simplifies to 1 fifth. That's our probability. And the next one, you draw a card at random from a shovel deck of 52 cards. The deck has 13 suit cards. Okay, what is uh, the probability that the, uh, the card is a diamond or a spade? So there's 13 diamond and 13 spade. That's a total of 26. Out of the total of 52 cards, that simplifies to one half. Okay. Uh, now, what I need to say also is what you could do is you could have this as 0.2 or 20%. That's three ways of expressing that per, uh, percentage. And this is 0.5 or 50%. Okay. Uh, next, making predictions with theoretical probability. A bag contains 23 red, 25 green, and 18 blue marbles. You choose a marble at random from the bag. What color will you most likely choose? <laughs> you're going to choose uh, green, and it's right there. There's, that, that's pretty easy. There's more green than there is anything else. Okay. Using technology to conduct a simulation. In 13.4, uh, you, uh, you use technology such as a random number generator like this to create a simulation. So here, Bay City has a 25% chance of having a flood in any given decade. The table shows the results as a simulation using random numbers to find the experimental probability that there will be a flood in Bay City in at least one of the next five decades. So these are the uh, one of the next five decades. So, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 random numbers. Anyway, uh, in the table, uh, the number one represents a decade with a flood. So this, this uh, represents a decade with a flood, decade with a flood, decade with a flood, and decade with a flood. The numbers two through uh, five, no flood. Okay, according to the simulation, what is the experimental probability of a flood in a Bay City in at least uh, one of the next five decades? Uh, well, it would just be one, So there's uh, one here, two decades, three decades, four decades. So that's four decades out of a total of 10 decades, which is 40%. Okay, and how can you use theoretical probability to make predictions in the real world situations? And this is my response to it. You can find theoretical probability of an event and then you can use that probability to make a prediction by setting up a proportion. Pretty simple. All right, so I hope this has been helpful. Pretty quick video. Thanks for watching. Bye.